Testing. Oh, testing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we may have fixed it. So does it say live? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Hey, Press everybody. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, YouTube broke on me right when I was going live streaming. So I got to talk a little quieter. My, my bad. I get a little excited and I'm a little nervous because I'm trying a live acrylic design. Oh. Is that your side? All right, I'm doing. What's that? Oh, that was my. Okay. That was my daughter, Erin. Oh, okay. You yeah. see that? <laughs> no, it just buzzed in my ear. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Hey, sorry. Can you see my face better on this one? There we go. Okay. All right. So, welcome to Retainer Designer. Uh, sorry for the hiccups. We YouTube broke my link on me. I had to start a new link. So. Hopefully you always found blame it on YouTube. I am go always going to blame it on YouTube. There's, there's no way I cannot blame it on YouTube because it was nothing I did. That is what I'm saying. That's my official story. Uh, but I'm taught my son Sawyer. Let's see if I can get him in the picture. Blame it on Sawyer. Yeah, I blame it on him. <laughs> blame it on Sawyer. Yeah. No. So anyway, he uh, he is helping me again and saying I'm talking too loud. So I'm talking too loud because I'm nervous because I'm doing a live acrylic demonstration again. <laughs> when we're going to see if it works better this time. Uh, hey, Steve, are you able to see the chat? No. Oh, okay. No, not right now. I'm trying to pull it up on YouTube on my other phone, and I'm not getting it yet. Okay. I'll try to monitor. I'm, I'm not video. getting the live video, which is kind of strange. Oh, okay. Might have to refresh or something. Yeah, I know. It's... I'm gonna try to restart my phone just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. Um, cause I can't see the chat right now. Oh, Frank. Oh, I can't see the chat. I'll just have to switch back and forth. Uh, pop out chat, and we'll go full screen with this. And there we go. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. So I put a link in that original video to Steve's watermelon design video, and I thought I would attempt it today. And uh, so, Steve, you got any word warnings? Word of warnings to me? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> He's going to be watching me and providing commentary as I work. So now I'm even more nervous. Just keep in mind that um, it's live, <laughs> so <laughs> it's harder. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And everyone, you have to try this at least once in your life. Oh, see yeah. What it's like. Yeah, try to do it live, knowing you can't edit this later. Well, I guess I could edit it later, but everybody's watching yeah, this you live. Yeah, you can always just not play it. <laughs> yeah. Two people are watching this live. Oh, we got two people now that found the link. So thank you to you two people that found the link. Let us know in the comments, audio, video, make sure everything's working good. So, all right. Uh, so one thing I'm excited for is I get to try my watermelon green JVC color. It actually is called watermelon. It's actually called watermelon green. Here I'll let I'll let you gotta like that. the camera. And I have two choices. I have candy apple, apple red or royal red. red. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! There you go. <laughs> What's Sorry. wrong? Had something unmuted. I had a camera unmuted, so it changed the. Oh, yeah, mute all the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. <clears throat> so, Royal Red, I think, is the closest to. Three people now. A was it Apple Red that you used <laughs> in your video? What? what? Yeah, I got four. <laughs> you got four people watching? One of them's me. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're boosting the numbers ourselves. <laughs> okay, I like your shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I need to show you my shirt. i got to buy one of those. <laughs> I am, because my channel is big enough, I can sell these t-shirts on my YouTube channel. So I'm working it out, and so I've created some. Uh, my wife's shirt has polka dots on it, so that's coming in, and then I'm going to check and see. I don't like, I need to edit the photo a little more and get rid of some shadows and stuff. And then once, 
once it goes live, I'll let everybody know, and y'all can buy a T-shirt. I think they're like twenty bucks or something. Huh? Buy our T-shirts. Buy our T-shirts. Sawyer's a salesman, man. He's a This is on the wrong. Hello. All right. Now that I got. I don't know, Steve. Your my your channel might be big enough to do that too. Oh. You have to check. It's in the new YouTube beta studio. I like it. Okay. So. Hey, Okay, before you start. Yes. You did get a nice haircut. Uh, my wife cut it. <laughs> I just saw that. Well done. Um, next week. Let's talk about next week really fast so we oh, give a yes. little bit of advertising. Because most people are going to be watching us on replay, obviously. Um, if they do watch it, I mean, whatever. We're, we're, you and I are going to do a special video on affiliate marketing next week. I think it'll be exciting. It'll be fun for anyone who's interested in affiliate marketing, what we're doing with our channels, and what you could do if you created a YouTube channel. Um, we're going to get some insight and some pretty good details on how it works and how you could do it yourself. Um, join us next week, and I think it'll be pretty exciting. Yeah, what's, uh, did you give them the topic? what we're going to be covering? Well, the, the topic's affiliate marketing, but it's going to be, most people don't know what affiliate marketing is because they're not selling anything or they don't have anything to sell, but what they don't realize is anyone can do it. Everyone's going to be buying from Amazon in the near future. I can guarantee that because Amazon's taking over everything. Yeah. Okay. And every single company that you and I work with if they're not on Amazon, they're going to be losing business. So they will be, if you notice, there's more and more companies that are starting to put their equipment, their, um, you know, just all kinds of dental stuff on Amazon. And by having an affiliate link, you could make a little small profit by this. And we'll talk about it more next week, but it's pretty cool. It'll, it's going to help some people out and um, it's going to help us out. And because between you and I, we know that YouTube does not pay much money. No. <laughs> it's a lot of work <laughs> to create videos and content and time and energy and, and just concepts and editing and you know and, and promoting. It, it's a lot of work and it, it's little reward except for having good fans and good people to talk to and communicate with. And that I enjoy you know immensely, and I'm sure you do too. Yeah. And meeting yeah. people like yourself, you know, like how we've connected, oh, and it's yeah. cool. So yeah. Yeah, that was the but best thing. This is just. Yeah, go ahead. Well, let this me. This is just the way. <laughs> you are delayed. Go uh, ahead, Kate. Keep talking. I gotta go get my monomer out of the fridge. I thought ahead this time. Okay. Most importantly, next week we're gonna be doing this video, and I'm, I really think it'll help people, and it's gonna be great for. If you have a relative who's looking to make extra money, affiliate marketing is the way to go. It's something that most people don't know anything about, and we're going to explain it next week. So join us next week, and hopefully we get our technical difficulties out of the yeah. way. Yeah, man, that was Sawyer. Yeah, Sawyer. Mr. Sawyer. That's your fault. I'm just kidding with him. <laughs> I'm glad he's there. Yeah, I am too. See some dancing. See some dancing while he's making his watermelon retainer. No. Uh oh, here we go. It must be really hot in Texas because yeah. I just saw your back. Yeah, <laughs> man. It, wow. It's just rolling down my back. That's why I had to put this in the fridge or else it's just going to set up on me so fast. I believe it's supposed wow, to be 106 a... today or something like that. Holy smokes. It's like a beautiful 79 degrees here and sunny today. <laughs> 79? Are you serious? I actually got to put my I got to put my sweatshirt on in here. It's oh. so chilly. Well, you're in a basement too, so that I got a I got yeah. two outside walls and the sun just beats down on them. And I got a little window unit back there that is not cutting it this summer. Wow. I got, I got to time my acrylic to try to do them in the morning and not in the afternoon because I they'll, it'll start setting up on me too fast. Okay, so water. I don't have that problem. Yeah, I'm gonna have it today. I can already tell you uh, during this live Go stream. Ahead. It's a watermelon retainer. I watched your video a few times, and it looks like the secret is 
uh, keeping it thick and being able to stack yes. it. And so that's, I think that's what I'm nervous about is being able to stack it and keep it in a nice tall stack on the... If, he, if it starts to slide down, you got to keep pushing it back and freezing it. That's the... Freeze. If you... But especially when you're making the rime of the watermelon, the green part. Yeah. You just have to keep stacking it. And if you let it slide down, you it, cut it off and keep pushing it up. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to go for it. I got my cold monomer. Go. All right, get going. And I'm going to go do candy apple red with it this time. I'll, I'll critique you if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, man. If no, I don't I'm, mind. I'm not going to critique. Well, some helpful hints while you're watching this. All right. So, so are you, you, are you, you got it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bend this one down so Sawyer has another angle to choose from. Oh, look. Look at that. You get my t-shirt in the background. <laughs> How nifty is that? That is nice. And let me just zoom in. The t-shirt's not too important. But now I have official. I look official now. Yes. All right, here is. I think my acrylics is a little finer grain, mm -hmm. which makes it good for certain things, but maybe bad for stacking. And I don't have that fancy tip on your monomer. I have this metal tip. Those metal tips will work great. But. Yeah, I remember you, when we first were talking, I asked you about those tips. And uh, you said you got them from TP Orthodontics? The little tiny, without the metal ones, TP. Oh, okay. But there's a, I, I also use like the tips that um, you got too, and they work just as good. Well, this is a really dark I green. Think Looks good. I haven't got to use this yet, so the tip isn't where I want it. it you know, as the flow of the polymer coming out of it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me. Oh, I forgot my tools. All right, let me freeze this real quick. And I guess getting a little bit of clear between the. Red and the green's not such a bad thing. Uh, it kind of is. Oh, you it don't is. want you don't want too much because it'll make it look make it transparent. It won't look as crisp. Well, I've seen some watermelons where they use like white or something in between. Yeah, you can do that too, and it's just adding that extra step, you know, to put that white layer in between. But it just makes it so much more harder. And I don't know if it's just really worth it because yeah, because well, we're it's trying to do harder. this one step, you know it. All right, so I have that side. Let me and, and keep going. Keep going around. Work fast. You definitely want to work fast on this one. The, thanks for the pressure. Mm, no problem. <laughs> when you're freezing your acrylic, okay, a, a tip is to don't use clear so much. Just use the green to keep. Hard, you know what I'm saying? Down. Like keep building it up. Right. Okay. Just put a just put a splash of clear on it. Don't because That's the color won't doing. look as vibrant. So you you don't use the clear as like a clear coat on top. You use it just for only at the end. At the end. Like maybe at the end. Like when I clear coat everything, just to give it that, so it freezes, so it doesn't you know nothing moves. So when you pull out a pressure pot, you don't get any surprises. <laughs> no, no one's surprised. Yeah, it's all slumped down the middle. Yeah, that could happen to you, but you know these are the these are the things we do. Yeah, well, those are the things you got to practice. You know, so it's good to practice these, like you like I'm doing now. So I can start offering them. Oh, I think I got a little monomer in my tip of my. There we go. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh. All right, I think I'm ready to go to the red. I got a little. According to my YouTube, it says the 
my live chat needs to be upgraded. I can't see any live chat. Oh, you need to update your phone, oh. man. Or your app. This is an old... Uh, this is my backup phone to the backup. Oh, in case you drop one. You're looking good. I can, I can see what you're doing. Looking good. Actually, we could change to... Uh, Alright, listen. Stop talking because you got to focus here. Oh, yeah. Alright. Cade, you need to freeze it because it's going to slump. I can, right. like, the way you, you have it, it it's definitely got that, freeze it. It's got that glistening look to it. We don't like glistening. Oh, it's just falling all over the place. Alright. There you go. I, we're on delay, so I'm, I, maybe I'm missing what you're doing, but I, on the camera and I'm watching, you're starting to push it back, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to push it back so it doesn't, you know, make it so wide. There's nothing worse than a wide-looking watermelon retainer. Yeah, especially after you trim it, and then you trimmed mm -hmm. out all your red. And it looks like yeah. already somebody's already eaten your watermelon, and you just got the little bit of red meat left. Okay, you bring it in the red now. Yes. Perfect. What I typically do is add the monomer to the bottom and let it like drift oh. into the green. Does I that make saw, sense? Yes. Don't go. Right yeah, on top you're doing of it, it opposite. Yeah. I saw you doing that in the video. I was like, I gotta remember that. You were like putting it on the teeth, and then you were putting it underneath and letting it soak to the inside. Yeah, you want the gravity, you know, like you're tilting the model and letting gravity push that monomer into the green, so you don't you get a nice crisp line. Like you know, it's like making a rainbow retainer. If you don't, they'll blend into each other, and what happens is the green and the red will turn black. You don't want that. Oh, geez, that's a. That's a rotted watermelon. Uh oh. You're not gonna see this in a little bit, but I gotta freeze my red. I switched to the other side too soon. Okay. Freezing, 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 freezing. And you can put a little clear coat on it now, just to give a little, little, you know, save material too, because you want to always use clear, obviously, for people who are actually watching this and learning. You just want to sprinkle a little clear. Don't yeah, I saw you blast do it, it with clear. Like this. Okay, that's looking good. Keep going. Doing good. Feels like summertime. <laughs> oh, that's a great design for summer. <laughs> Bust that watermelon retainer open. Now, if we could just add watermelon flavor to our retainers. Oh, my God, we'd be rich. Yeah. And of course, the kids would be eating their retainers. That's true. That, we, that might backfire on us. We'd have to have FDA approval for our you know did I ever tell you I looked into looking for flavored a, retainers flavored retainers and I wanted I no up, but that's a good idea I looked at mint flavor mm -hmm. and the ingredient that they use a lot is FDA or DEA controlled because it's a precursor to uh, ecstasy <laughs> so oh. I, I was like a laboratory ordering <laughs> I think it was called sap roll or something like that or something. It was it was funny. I was like, oh, I better not order this, and I better delete my browsing history. Oh man! All right, I think I'm ready for the black seeds. It's looking good. So you want to now? You really want to freeze it good to make you know you don't want anything slumping into each other. Okay, I got a nice coat of. White. And here's the, here's the part that separates the men from the ladies. <laughs> I mean, and the ladies and the ladies from the men. Because if your acrylic's hard, it's kind of hard to cut those little holes out. Oh yeah. So you have you have two options. You could harden it right now, finish it, and add the holes later. You know. That you makes for that. nice add crisp seeds. seeds. Yeah. I like to do it in one step because I'm a one step type of guy where I want to. You know, you obviously we make the most money if you didn't do it in one step. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. And you don't have to sell two-step watermelons. Yeah, because it's actually three colors, so it looks like it was made in three steps, but it's you know you did it in one step. So you're gonna cut your little seeds out, and what I like to do is put a little black powder in first, and then put a drip 
of monomer and then oh, put okay. a little black powder and then drip because otherwise you'll catch an air bubble. So do think of it as in layers. Mm hmm But the first layer put a little dash of powder in there because then it's starting to kind of start to freeze that polymer, you know what I'm saying? So it's not slumping into it. Because if you like sometimes if it's cold or you know your monomer's cold you'll put that little hole and the time you get to a next hole the other one's closing up on yeah. you and then you're like ah. everybody's messed with that you know when you build something on the beach you know and it starts right to close exactly up on you. same philosophy do you uh, count the seeds I mean or do you just I try to randomly make them even and I know that sounded really stupid don't put four on one side and three on another. Like, I try to even it out. Ooh, I put it it really doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll put multiple more seeds. Sometimes I'll put less. To, you know. I also make a lot of lower watermelon retainers. Oh, yeah. Those are hard, right? Yeah, yeah it comes out pretty cool. It goes really good with the upper if you make them together, especially. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of it's a matter of preference with the with the um, seeds. If you want more seeds, put more seeds in. It's just more work, you know what I'm saying? You ever thought about pre-making the black seeds and then shove them into the... Uh... Yeah, people, I've seen that done before. I also, um, on my YouTube channel, I get a lot of weird comments on that video, specifically. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a couple of, uh, one person from like Taiwan said, what, we make a watermelon retainer and we add um, rice. <laughs> Black little oh. pebbles of rice. I'm like, okay. Oh <laughs> like, wow. You know, I guess that would work because it looks like a little seed, if, yeah. like little black pieces of rice. I probably. I'm like, but what happens when you trim through it? <laughs> you know, like, oh yeah. I guess that... it's buried in acrylic. I guess yeah. If you totally encapsulate it, kind of like. I think one time I got asked to put real ants in, and I I don't think I could have oh. done it. How fun is that? Yeah. They're like, want it to look like, you know, the ants trapped in amber. Right. I was like, man, I don't, I don't know if I, you want a real life ant in your retainer or not. I was telling my daughter we were having a conversation of some of the weirdest retainers I've ever made. And um, one of them was like a Justin Beaver. They wanted that logo in his mouth. And I was like, this is, it was a she, I should say. And one of them, my strangest one, I told her, I, I, I got her getting a good laugh. This this guy wanted a, a tattoo that he had on his body, on his retainer. I'm like, okay, we can do this, you know. So he sends me a picture, they send me a picture, it was a whole back tattoo. <laughs> like, and the kid did not have the prettiest back in the world. That was what was weird about it. It's like he had hair and oh. acne, and I was just like, this is... This is really strange. You could have plucked but, your own eyebrow hairs and embedded it in the acrylic for a 3D oh effect. Man. Oh, that would be really cool. <laughs> so you wanted your tattoo to look real. All right, I think I, I think this might not be too bad. No, it looks good. Oh, here's the last step. If you watch the video, I coat the whole thing in black at the end. What? Like the whole the whole the red Oh, because you're going to grind it off because anyway. Because your seeds will... So before you put it in the pot, coat it with black. Well, I just, just put trust a me on this layer of clear on weird. there. Let me scrape the clear off. That's okay. No, that's okay. Just put some black on it. Well, let's do half and half and see how it turns out. I'm going to scrape half of it off off the newest side. And there's a reason why I do that is because just in case you get an air bubble that comes through, the black will always seep into the air bubble. You see gotcha, what I'm saying? Gotcha, like, yeah. I've had that before where you get it and there's like three air bubbles in the seeds because I didn't add the black layer at the end. It's a little trick. Yeah, I That looks really good, that. though. That should come out nice. All right, let's put this in a pressure pot. We'll give that a little bit to set up, but I was going to try to do a surprise one. Boy, this is really dim, isn't it? Let's do another white one. I was going to try to do this with glitter. I have these, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have these pastel pearls, and I was going to try mm -hmm. this with these pastel pearl colors. 
Hey, Kate, hold on a second. I got another idea for you. All right. Stop. Don't do not do that because I, I know what that looks like. It, it, try this one because a lot of people ask me to do this. Okay. And I know you could do, you could do it while you're doing good. I want you to use red monomer and green, and you can demonstrate that effect. So green. Like make a green for the outside, but you this time use it with liquid monomer green. You have a darker, like a yeah. watermelon green kind of? Yeah. Oh man, now that's a challenge. Two monomers and you're trying to keep them separate? And if you really want to make it special, you can use your watermelon green, okay, polymer, and use your green monomer. Oh, It'll make wow. a nice, really rich color. Because this is like an experiment. You'll see which one comes out the best. Yeah. You know? So I have emerald green, which is a nice, rich. And then I have grass green, which is a little bit lighter. The emerald you, green's the darker. What are you doing? Oh. I don't know if you can uh, see that in the light. I can't because your hand's in the way. Yeah, my fat hand. But here's here's what we're going to do. You ready for this? Okay, what? You're going to work faster. Oh, God. <laughs> because it's going to it's gonna be slumpier, and you need to like not talk as much and just like get through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll let you do the talking then. <laughs> okay, so the, the red... Okay. Let me get this right. So the watermelon green polymer with mm -hmm. green monomer mm -hmm. and candy apple red with cherry monomer or red monomer. Correct. Okay. All Correct. right. Try that. All right. This is going to be. But this time, here's what's important before you start. Okay. When the red, remember that part about I said to drop the red so the red flows to the green? Don't put the red on top of the green. Oh, Put it on the opposite let side the, of the green and let it run up to, or capillary action up the, okay. You, All right, I got you. <laughs> Sorry, he's laughing at me. I was giving you some air fist bumps. But Frank said, thanks, Steve, it. I was thinking about that. I think he's talking about the monomer. Because a lot of people don't have these nice, rich colors, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, or they're gonna, it's gonna take their color and make it more vibrant. Yes. Yeah, because you may only have one type of green, but if you mix, and it might look. Yeah, Cade. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to get across is I've seen a lot of retainers online, and some of them the acrylic's not dark enough, so it just it doesn't look like a pretty watermelon. It just looks like a watermelon retainer. Right. Where I've actually seen them, how they're copying my patterns. You know, they're cop they have the dots in the exact spot, so I know that they're copying my video. <laughs> but they used a they used a different material, and I was like, man, I wish they would just try it with a darker monomer over it. It would come out so much better. So that's what you're doing right now. There you go. You're gonna drop it on there. But this is, you know, it takes a little more talent. You gotta work a little faster, because it's gonna set up. Because your monomers aren't the right temperature. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're they're a little slippery. The color. You do, obviously, <clears throat> obviously, these aren't coming out of the fridge, right? Oh, you're right. Yes. Yep. That's why I said you gotta work fast. And I gotta use an eyedropper. You can do this. it. You can do it. You put that other one in the pressure pot, then. <laughs> oh yeah. I think <laughs> okay. I've applied the pressure too. All right. So you said it's 106 there? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm going to freeze this with just regular polymer and work my way around. Oh, it fell down. Screw you. Go home. You Don't worry it. about wiping. You can just wipe that off when you're getting ready to do the red. Use a little clear and flush it. You could, or just push it off with a oh, okay. with a pure you know, you don't have to get fancy. So are it's you looking good. Able to get this? Yeah. Okay. Work fast, talk less. You're doing good, just work fast. And faster is always good. You're gonna make more money, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sliding on me. How's Frank doing, by the way? <laughs> I think in France. Good. All right. Let's see. 
because I don't have color. Oh, Frank, yeah. Frank said that he doesn't have colored polymers, so he has to use I know. monomers. Some countries don't have it. Some countries, they really? won't allow it in it, or they won't, like, import. They won't allow it. I've had a lot of people request it, and they're just like, how are you getting all these really fancy colors? Because we only have clear, and we, or we only have, we only have uh, colored monomers, but we don't get the polymer, or vice versa. So we are lucky, Cade. Yeah. Well, I mean, I offer 80 colors, so, <laughs> you know. I'm, I know. <laughs> I'm overdoing it a little. Yeah, you're bragging. You in your new shirt. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's that part I wanted yep. to tell you about. You're going to add the red, but you're going to capillary it to the, to the green. Don't put the red on the green. You'll get black. No, there okay. Goes. Okay, I got it. Well, that was one way of doing it. You cleared off the, the green. I like that. I keep watching you on the delay. Yeah. I'm, can you see the screen I have you pointed at up top? Yeah, now I see it. You're in the red part. We're doing good. You're doing great. Perfect. That's a really nice looking color, by the way. The The red? Mm hmm. Yeah, I like this. It's cherry tinted monomer. It's, it's really a good solid color. Don't get it, asked for it much. I get blues. Turquoise is probably the popular one. Have you been mixing her colors a lot, like um, taking like the dark blues and mixing it with a colored polymer, like getting different effects with it, or do you just kind of stick with the standard I just clear work? Stick with the standard. Um, you should experiment it because yeah. I know that you're going to get some really cool effects if you um, you know mix the colors, the dark monomers with the lighter, and just to see because you know like, with everything that we do, you know as technicians and orthodontic especially, it's all experimenting. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, totally. You know, you were you were cracking me up on that one. Like you were making a, I don't know what you were making a tie dye or something in that one video for, and it was like you were like, oh, this looks terrible. I'm like, that's gonna actually look pretty cool when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it always yeah. looks weird when you're putting it when you're making it. The worst is when you have it's the like, other way. You're like, this is gonna look amazing, and then you trim it up. You're like, no, nah, this. <laughs> you're like, uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can see that black you're talking about. I'm getting a small black line. The starfish. Oh, the starfish. Yeah, that. The starfish, yes. Yeah, we won't call it that, fireworks okay. anymore. Yeah, you'll you'll get that black line if you really let it soak into it. That's why you want to soak it, freeze it, soak it, freeze it. You know, like capillary freeze it. You get really cool effects. And this also works for when you're doing. Rainbow retainers for anyone who's watching this video who wants to do ra rainbows. That's my trick. You bleed the colors into the next color. You don't add the color to the two colors. You make a mess. Oh yeah, I remember doing rainbows. I see it all the time. I see people doing it all the time, and I know exactly like oh they add the the colors to each other, and next thing you know you got a blue and a yellow, and you're creating green instead of letting them, you know, capillary into each other. I meant to ask you, do you? Uh... I'm gonna put a little clear there just to stop it. You can use clear, freeze okay. it, just freeze it. There we go. I shouldn't touch it too much. Oh, I got it. Nope. I'm We're getting... working as talking. Yeah, sorry. Sorry told me more working, less talking. Freeze that bad boy, start adding those black ones. Now right. the black ones, if I was you, I would just use clear in black, black polymer. This time you're not going to use black liquid. Oh yeah, that okay. black liquid is like death. <laughs> liquid It'd be too death. messy. God. Yeah, I know. Getting that all of stuff. everything. Some of that metallic stuff, you know what I'm saying? I always uh, Dark. tell my doctors, I, I reserve the prerogative to switch between black polymer and black monomer depending on what they're wanting. Usually you oh, can't black tell polymer is so hard to work, or black monomer is so hard to work with. Yeah. Especially when you're going to trim wires and you're looking for wires and oh, you found one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too, too late. You got to trim yeah, that sound. <laughs> Wait, for you it's your wife, but right now my my 
20 year olds making like finishing my retainers for me when I hear that sound my ears just go <laughs> yes <laughs> I hear it when my wife nothing. does it like, ah! and they know it too they're like all of a sudden I hear the bird like stop <laughs> I'm like you know oh you got one didn't you Yeah, that's a like, bad I'm hoping sound. that's a bug class. Oh, man, yesterday we were packing up. And uh, I left a stabilizing spring out of my... Oh, and right stores. at the last, I was like, oh, so I had to just add it in really, really quick. And then I got another oh, one man. in, and the clasp had been ground off. And I was like, no. Oh. So I had to add that real quick. And it was like... You know, T minus forty minutes before the UPS truck gets here. Oh, no pressure. Yeah. Make it. My buddy used to, um, the guy who actually taught me how to do all this stuff, twenty something years ago. He was a Crown and Bridge tech, and he used to always say like, the beautiful thing about orthodontics is like when you screw up something, it's fixable. Yeah. Like when you screw up a crown and you got everything layered and everything, you know, the ceramic and you got a crack in it, it's, it's just garbage. You know, like. Yeah. All that hours of wasted, just gone, and here you can just, you know, you can fix it. It's fixable. It's acrylic. You can cut it out. You can replace it. You can, you know, we, you know, we can make magic. Oh yeah, yeah. I think Sarah, my wife, was kind of amazed I fixed it that quick. Yeah, you have to. And the good <laughs> thing is they were both, like, they're both like. Uh, uh, Standard pink, so I can blend those colors real well. It's, it's perfect. Fixing a design like this, and you gotta try to match the design, or you know, you're doing a zebra or a tiger stripe. And uh, okay, yeah, totally understand. What you're saying. Hey, what you're doing right now is looking really good. If I'm critiquing okay. you, you're doing a great job. So freeze it, get it in the pot. And uh, okay. if you want to trim your other one. I don't know if you or you want to cut the video, whatever you want to do. If Sawyer's willing to hold the camera, I can do oh, that yeah, other this... one real quick. I'm putting Sawyer on the spot. He wants to get back to playing Fortnite. Ah, uh, Fortnite. I I think I played against Sawyer. I'm just kidding. I never played. <laughs> Kids are really good at that stuff. You probably win. I got down to like four. Can't beat those. These guys, they build their little forts and they sit up there and pick you off one at a time. Yeah. Alright. Sawyer knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> the snipers? The trolls? Is that what you call them? The snipers. Uh, I don't really know. Campers, really. The campers? Yeah. So. Campers. Your username could be Winnebago. Because you, you're camping mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, that yeah, I don't think you'll I'm get that joke. The, well, that's not you. That's the enemy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good tactic at the end of the game. I, I think you just made a Pollock painting there. I <laughs> <laughs> charge more for those. All right. Ooh. You should put it, pack, package it up with the package and give it to the kid. Mm -hmm. Tell I only put one layer of separator on here. Oh, that's. I've, I've used this too many times for. Okay, Sawyer. Demos. Here, take this. Now, here's the moment of truth. You'll be able to see what it looks like on the backside. If the backside looks good, you got it. Well, well. Here, I'll put it. I can't tell because there's too much stuff on it. Alright, I'm going to take my headphones out and I won't be able to hear you. But Sawyer will be able to hear you. So. Alright, let's go over oh, here. Oh, you've definitely used that model a few times. Alright, and thank you to Steve for the... Hey. Hey. For the Kratex wheel. That's going to make a big difference. I see you got some residue on that model. I have some what? 
Yeah, from the model. I didn't let my separator hey, saw dry, your, I think. Sawyer, if you can hear me. Can you switch the cameras to another camera? Because you're not you showing see? anything. What I'm doing? Sawyer, quit moving around so much. I'm Hold it. Where you can see here. I put too much on Sawyer. There you go. I cheated because I didn't use wires on this. We gotta get oh, Sawyer yeah. about eight that. eight inches taller. So you're so close, I hope your dad showered. Uh, I can zoom it in. You can zoom it out. Oh, are you talking to me or? It's a little thick. Okay, I gotta go back to my old faithful. Where'd he go? Old faithful's a little rusty. Oh, because the spin is, uh... It's a weird shape now. Alright, let me get the handpiece on this. Let me, let me switch chairs with me. What? Switch chairs with me. Can you see this okay? I'm not going to turn on the suction because it might be too... Your box is nice and clean. It might have weird lines in it. Yeah. Is it picking that up? That yeah. sound? Yeah. I need to change the bearings in my handpiece. I can tell.
so far. And there you go. I'm gonna be here. So. I'm gonna get pumice on my new shirt. Oh no. I don't know. About the shirt. Good, that's it. divot in there. I think that's the side I didn't fill with uh, black powder. You think it got a little uh, hole? Seriously. my favorite part of any design is that shiny part because you can get a good I always like shining the metal oh yeah So I'd, I would probably woo, put it in the uh, ultrasonic, but I probably don't. I'll take that back. You can switch the cameras. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. How'd that turn out? Oh, Greg Malone is on. And Raccoon Lufa. Hey, Greg. These are our loyal fans. <laughs> Frank, I think we're going to have to send you some colored polymer. Yeah. All Sneak right. him across the border. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. There we go. All right, there's the final product. I think it turned out decent. It looks great. Like you said, the the green rind is a little thick on this side, but uh, there's a little divot hey. here that I need to fill in. Well, I think that you learn from your like what worked and what didn't work, and you know I've made a bunch. Of, I mean, I make a lot of, them. but every single one of them like you might have made the, like personally I would make the seeds a little smaller yeah it was kind of, kind of big to each huh? his own you know what I'm yeah. saying but you had like and a that would broken make it easier to make. instrument oh, you had a broken instrument and I have this little, tiny little <laughs> I got scoop. a broken instrument you know my tricks yeah you had some sort of broken instrument you were using for your seeds you got that you're learning uh, so yeah that's Oh yeah, I did. I need to get uh, the switch. I need to teach you how to turn a lathe on and off. This one? Right down there. This one? Yeah, do it to the middle. 
There you go. Alright, let's see if I can get... I can't get the colors... Oh! Can you see that okay? Yeah, I think I like that watermelon green. Oh, yeah, that turned out good. All right. So, any any final tips or tricks you think, Steve, on watermelon designs? We're about to run in the pressure pot right now. Oh, we're, we won't worry from, about trimming that one. Let's see what it looks like, though. From what, I'm, from what I see, it's hard to tell because you're, like, frozen in time or something. Am I? I would definitely keep that cap capillary... So the red flows into the green, so it doesn't create a the darkness between the two. Yeah. But overall, it looks excellent, and it's just a matter of practicing and making it. You know, that looks cool for doing it. You know, you said you haven't done it in a long time. It's been a couple of years since I've uh, been asked to do a watermelon. Um, you know, when I opened my lab, re reopened my lab in January, I just went with a standard color chart with no designs on it. So. I'm mm -hmm. slowly working my way back into adding designs. I think we're going to add a watermelon. Because you said you do tons of watermelon. Well, you know what happens, Kate? Here's, here, for instance, I'll get a set of watermelon retainers, and I'll make them, and I uh -huh. deliver them. And let's say it's deliver at 8 o'clock in the morning, and the kid's not coming in until after school at 5 o'clock. Well, in the meantime, those retainers get passed around to all the kids during the day. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like oh, check these out. You want to, oh, and the little girls go like oh, or you know, they're like oh, I want that. So next thing you know, the next box I get, there's like two or three of them in there. You know, because those mean? assistants, they saw it. they're your they're best demoing salesmen. it. Saleswomen are those assistants. That's you always hey, tip for the tip of the day. Always be nice to those assistants. Oh yeah, yeah, they're your best salespeople. <laughs> They are because if you're nice to them, they're like, "Oh, I really like that guy, and he's so nice, and he's, you know, he's always friendly." And they will talk you up, and oh, he can do anything. He can do this, and he'll make this, and you know, like try that. Oh, and then they'll go in the back, and they'll actually bring out the watermelons, and look what he made, you know. And then you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So, they, I've I've noticed sometimes so. I get a rash of um, a certain color, and I think it's one of the assistants that is kind of pushing it or selling it to um, the the kid as they're probably trying to get them to make their decision faster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I had one office that, you know my pattern that I make that red, white, and blue pattern? Um, the red, white. Yeah, the red, white, and blue. My The pattern I use for my little logo. I have one doctor that I'll make 10 of those a month. And then I'll have another doctor I've never made one ever. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You must be pushing it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think so. Who knows? I never bothered to ask. I just... Because the other doctor's doing something else. The other doctor might be doing more tie-dyes or watermelons or decals or, you know, like so. Teach their own. But it's definitely a good thing to know in your arsenal. And you make sure you charge extra. It's extra yes. time, extra, you know, for technicians out there. Don't give your stuff away for free. Don't yes. charge, you know, three dollars for that. That's that's a handcrafted decal, you know, detailed retainer, and it comes out really cool, and the kids love it. And my my biggest philosophy is get the kids to wear the retainers and keep them clean. Yes, and that that's why I offer all those colors. Is you know our our, our demographic as an ortho lab is preteen teenager. And I, I think offering them colors, they'll be more willing to wear the retainer, show it off to their friends, um, and try to be cool about it. <laughs> as cool as retainers can be, uh, it's you know it's a lot more fun to wear in headgear around school. Of course. For you, Kate, I think you need to get another shirt. <laughs> it's hot in there. Oh my god! It's like your sweat. It is so bad in here. I gotta I gotta end this so I can turn off all these lights and. And stop getting a I gotta, fake tan. I gotta put a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's too different. Gosh, are you in Alaska? No, it's just nice and air conditioning. It's like 67 <laughs> degrees in air. I'm right. wearing shorts, but still, it's a little chilly. Well, I feel bad for you. Yeah. Well, hopefully, be. I think it's supposed to be a little cooler next week. 
Um, I won't be doing the hands-on, but we will be doing the affiliate link. Uh, so yeah. be sure and tune in for that. And we'll make sure that YouTube doesn't break my link next time. Remember, YouTube did it, not me, <laughs> this time. No kidding. All right, Steve, uh, I have. I will put the link to the watermelon retainer, his original watermelon retainer, in the description below right when we get off of this because it was in the other one where the link got broke. So I'll put it in there. Make sure you watch his video. Give it a thumbs up because that was the, the, the genesis of this live stream was his watermelon retainer. And Steve, tell us about your Instagram channel. Instagram? Uh, Instagram. Just go to Zara Dental, S Z A R A Dental. Make sure you follow me, and I'll follow you back. And putting up some cool pictures. Yeah. A good way to get business. Yeah. Oh yeah. I need to watch so that you know. video again uh, that you put out about marketing your your lab. So. Uh, I can you share you a couple of comments that I get where people are like, "Can I please send you my work?" And I'm like, "How did you find me through Instagram?" <laughs> and then then. They'll be like, oh, I didn't even know you had a YouTube channel. Because most people, they're not in, you know, they're finding us. Yeah. But for the most part, Instagram, everyone's on getting on Instagram. Right. It's yeah. quick, easy, good way to help your business grow. For those of you who aren't on it, we could do some videos about that to share some knowledge about it, how to grow followers and stuff. Yeah, we need to and get And why a, it's important to your business. Josh Dobson on that, too, on kind of marketing and, and on that. Uh, kind of blend it all together, so we'll we'll get that together in the next few weeks. Uh, it's kind of hard with it Super being so cool. busy. And uh, here, Steve got I don't know how many boxes of <laughs> retainers in the UPS. You got to go work on right now. It's August. We're coming in. It's not even August yet. Yeah, that's scary. It's not even August. August. It's busy. We're August. Good. We're gonna try our best to get stuff out to y'all. But if if y'all know this industry, August is a very busy time for Ortho Labs. So definitely. So take care, Kate. We'll we'll talk to you next week. All right. See y'all later. Bye now.